sacristan was on the porch of Milford Church, diligently pulling the strings of the bell. The old people from the village came bowing down the street. Children with lowing faces walked happily beside their parents. When the most people for the most part gathered on the pelter, the sacristan began to ring the bell, stand the view to the home of the Reverend Mr. Hooper. But does Mr. Whopper have him from off his face? For one, when they heard the question, turned to look at Mr. Hooper, who was walking slowly and with a total air. The reason of such a punishment may appear unsymphonic. Mr. Hooper, an undocated person of about 30 years old, while was still single, was dressed in the proper societal condition. There was only one unusual thing to see, guarding his forehead and falling in front of his face so low as to catch his breath, Mr. Hooper wore a black veil hanging. Seeing more closely, this veil appeared to consist of two folds of crap that completely hide his features, minus his mouth and chin. It probably did not intercept his veil at all. The dark shadow in front of him, the good Mr. Hooper was advancing at slow and calm pace. I don't like it at all. Growling old woman, leaping in the direction of the church. It was enough. The word his face to become an object of trouble. Few could stop turning their heads towards the door. Many stood turning directly towards him, while a lot of children went up to a bend from where they jumped with a ghastly noise. But Mr. Hooper did not seem to notice the disturbance of the faithful. However, there was a person in the village who was not impressed with what moved everyone. As his promised wife, the privilege of knowing or what hides the veil should belong to her. So, on the first visit of the minister, she entered the subject with a straightforward simplicity, which made the test easier for him than for her. No, she said, there is nothing horrible about that piece of creep, other than the fact that he's hide a face that always cheer me up. Come on, my friend, let the sun shine behind the cloud. First, take off that black veil, then tell me why you use it. Elizabeth, my dear, know that this veil is a characteristic and a symbol, and I forced myself to wear it forever. What's most painful affliction makes you suffer? asked the woman. So that you want to darken your own eyes forever? From the day on, no attempt was made to remove Mr. Hooper's black veil. He lived a very long life, and when his time came, Mr. Westbury approached the bed to see Mr. Hooper. Venerable Father Hooper, are you ready to lift the veil that separates time from eternity? Yes, he replied. My soul will be patient until I lift the veil. Mr. Clark learned forward to reveal the mystery of so many years, but in an abject effort that left everyone astonished, Father Hooper pulled his hand and squeezed it then over the veil. Never! He screamed. On earth, never! With what horrible crime in your soul are you crossing the threshold of the trail? Why do you tremble just in front of me? I look around me and I see on it face a black veil, just like mine. The father fell on the pillow, the corpse with a smile on his face, and even today the people are afraid of the minister's black veil.